the instrument I play, all instruments are difficult, of course, uh, but the oboe is uh, very time consuming uh, because of the amount of time we spend making our reeds, which are these little things. And uh, that can be anywhere from 10 to 20 hours a week. It really is the 80% of the instrument, probably. I mean, could be more. Uh, it's where the sound originates. And as you can see, it's very, very, very tiny. And uh, it's um, scraped. At the end, it's scraped thinner than a human hair. And it still has to withstand your tonguing on it. You're touching it with your tongue maybe, I don't know, 5,000 times in an evening. Well, and that really is um, the soul of the instrument. It gives you a beautiful tone or a terrible tone. It gives you a flexible response or not such good response. can give you a good uh, playing well in tune or playing badly out of tune. A little edgy, might be good for something. This one's a little too thick. This one might be just right, maybe tomorrow. It isn't now. There's a lot of mystery involved in reed making and uh, pocus pocus and legend and everything else. But uh, you have to do it yourself. When things go very well, it's actually fun because it's, a, like a, it's the closest thing to being a, a medieval alchemist because they sort of start out sounding like this. You know, it's just not going to make anybody fall in love with you. And, and it ends up with... Then you feel like you've transformed something, you see? From mm -hmm. like changing lead into gold. <laughs> <laughs>